What's going on everybody? Today, we're talking about balls. <laughs> what is going on everybody? Uh, yeah, kind of caught you off guard uh, a little bit with that one. Yeah, yeah. You Just, thought we were talking about the All-Star game. Yeah. Nope, we're talking about balls today. All right. Old balls and young balls. <laughs> a whole family of balls we're talking about. A whole bunch of balls. A whole bunch of balls in today's episode, which is a little awkward. Yeah. Since it's two dudes. Yes. I mean, I don't necessarily like to talk about balls with other dudes. No. But, uh... We're going to do it today. I guess we're going to do it. <laughs> All right, we're, we're, we're going to uh, just give our take on the yeah. ball family. Right, right, right. Those yep. type of balls. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what everybody else was thinking. Yeah. Get your mind to go, y'all. Yeah, that's, we ain't talking about those... Mm. <laughs> no, uh, right. for another show. Yeah, another show, another show. Well, mm. well, what would you rather start off? You want to talk about the old ball or the young ball? Yeah, I mean, let's start with uh, the maturity, so to speak. Let's go with the old. We're old talk about old balls. Yeah, let's go old balls. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. old ball. <laughs> All right. Well, you you start off with the old balls. Okay, so you know, and, and here's the thing. I know a lot of people have their um, take on you know. Uh, Pop a ball, I guess you want to say. <laughs> pop a Yeah, you can't say the ball. other one. Don't say the other one. Right. That's so, but LeVar, um, you know, everybody talks about, you know, how he's, uh, he's very aggressive. You know, his, his personality is somewhat, um, irritating. Somewhat irritating? He's mostly irritating. Yeah, he, he's pretty, he's pretty bad at times. You know, um, my biggest thing is, you know, I I don't agree with a lot of his tactics. I don't agree with a lot of the way uh, he goes about doing certain things. I think the big picture that a lot of people may fail to realize and look at from a business standpoint, you know, I think he's trying to set his kids up uh, for success and to lay a, to live off of his kids. Well, I mean, somewhat, yeah, yeah. you know. But uh, here's the thing, you know. I had to tip my hat to him because he's... You he's, don't have a hat. Yeah, I don't. This is the first show in a long time, y'all. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I feel a little different. You ain't going to get no hat comments now. Hey, y'all. But comment on my uh, my bro, bro hawk. I'm trying to grow a bro hawk out, y'all. So, <laughs> see how that goes. But I, No, I can't bro hawk. <laughs> Are you good? I, I can't. Okay. <laughs> It'd be like a thin hawk. Well, let's try it. <laughs> But, um, you know, my thing is, and, and, and even going with the situation where he's taking LaMelo and LoAngelo, uh, to Lithuania, um, I think to me, it's actually a smart move in a sense to where one, I think the big baller brand can expand, expand to a global market, you know, versus here in, in uh, the U.S., it may be tapped out, maybe a little limited, but, um, you go over overseas, man. You know, a lot of American uh, professional athletes have had a lot of success. Uh, look at uh, Stefan Marbury. A lot of people don't even remember this guy. You remember he's, Steph? Yeah, he's like a uh, he's like a Chinese superstar. I mean, he's a he? god over in China, <laughs> dog. I mean, he is huge over there. And so, you know, even his brand, you know, the the Starberry brand over here, I can remember it. I don't know about ten years ago. Um, they were selling for like ten bucks, something like that. You no, know, the shoes, but it was quality. It was ten dollars, ten bucks, man. It was, uh, you can't get like a half of a shoelace of a ZO two for ten dollars. Right, right. I mean, that thing's but, like five hundred dollars. Yeah, that price point, man. It's 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 uh, it's, and, it's pretty high. And a lot of people are starting to get pissed because they've ordered these shoes and they still haven't gotten them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at what point does Lavar's marketing genius? Mm-hmm. Turn into a reality, but he's just not very mm. good at business. Mm. He can draw the attention mm. and and get the marketing side of it down. Because I mean, he, mm-hmm. he had people buying a five hundred dollar pair of shoes. I mean, nobody was going to buy those before. No, but now I mean, they're better business ratings, like an F. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, this is ridiculous. At some point, yeah. Well, again, like I said, the thing is, if Melo and Leandro. Leangelo do well. You can just call, we can just call him Mellow and Jello. Mellow Jello, I like that. Yeah. Sounds like a though. fruit snack or something. Uh-huh. 
It could be. <laughs> Look at his hair. I mean, well, hey, <laughs> Mello's hair looks like a bag of funyuns. Yeah, to say the least. But yeah, I mean, you know, if if the situation comes out to where they, um, you know, have success, which right now, I mean, they are actually playing, playing pretty well um, over in the European League, and you know, if that continues, you know, like I said, the success could grow, and therefore, I think it, it could help their brand. Um, and in a couple of years, who knows? I mean, Lavar's plan, and everybody I'm sure has already heard it, that he won't all three balls, which I didn't think that was possible. I, I mean, usually you're trying to avoid having three balls. Yeah, yeah, because if you got three <laughs> in a certain mm-hmm. situation, it's not good, mm-hmm. typically. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, he wants all three ball brothers on the Lakers. Go, L.A., um, I mean, I kind of hope that happens, so at least we have to another 10 years of losing. Hey. I mean, you well, know, I, I got to admit, I mean, mm-hmm. watching those guys play mm-hmm. Mello and Jello over yeah. in Lithuania, mm-hmm. they look different than they looked here. Mm-hmm. Mello's playing some defense. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. not cherry-picking all the time. Right. It's more like down to like 50% of the time he's cherry-picking. Mm-hmm. I mean, they look great. I mean, he had a triple-double, and everybody's going to come back and say, oh, well, the level of... Talent they're playing is not that high. Well, right. people forget this kid is 16 years old. Exactly. I mean, he's supposed to be, you know, in the lunchroom yeah. eating fruit snacks. <laughs> right. Wearing right. skinny jeans. And, and, yeah, exactly. He ain't supposed to be playing semi-pro ball. Mm-hmm. And the the BBB tournament games over there with the junior team, yes, that is. Mm-hmm. But it's better than what high school talent is. Oh, absolutely. I agree. And, and, I mean, that's only helping him. And when they play in the actual... Lithuania or the European League, yeah, that's comparable to top high end NCAA at least. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, and, and the fact that they're getting it at such a young age, I mean, mm-hmm. this is setting their future up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, their their social skills need some uh, some manscaping. Yeah. We'll call it. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> because they're like non-existent. Yeah, but it's... as far as their game is going, they're they're turned into. Decent ball players. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not writing them off yet. Right. Yet. <laughs> Getting all three of them on the Lakers is going to be a stretch. That. Well, you know, here's the thing, man. You know, we live in a society in a world where you know, it's all about um, fanfare. You know, the hoopla. Um, L.A. being the the city of angels, quote unquote. I mean, it's always been a tradition. You know, that they have showtime or, you know what I mean? They're a more exciting team. So just the, the aspect of having all these, you know, all three brothers on the same squad, maybe perhaps in uh, 2020, you know, is intriguing. I mean, I don't, I, I really don't care what the management say, uh, in LA, but still think about the money that they could generate. It's a lot of money. You know, that's that's the biggest picture I think for me. And then also, you know, you got um, the nucleus. You know, in you know, we're kind of diverting a little bit, but talking about L.A. You talking about nucleuses and stuff. Hey, like, whoa, <laughs> that that's a good one. That hat must have been keeping some knowledge yeah, I contained. Think so, oh, man. The hat's I, gone. The knowledge is coming out. It's coming, y'all. <laughs> Get ready. But um, you know, Kazuma. You know, you got Ingram. Uh, you know, Lonzo. Uh, that three man is 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 a pretty decent young nucleus man, and then you if you possibly get the other two brothers along with maybe LeBron. But does LeBron want that hassle? LeBron, talk to you, boy. Man, come on down to L.A. I mean, LeBron yeah. has kind of checked out at Cleveland. Yeah, it's it's but a wrap. To go to L.A., I think now it's uh it's more of a business situation. You know, of course he's got. Buku loads of money, mm-hmm. but he could like have truck loads. Yeah, but yeah, he could have way more in LA. And that's the thing with Zoe. I mean, I know he's hurt right now. He's nursing an MCL sprain, hasn't played in a while. Mm-hmm. But I think everybody's starting to, or they got to see kind of what he is. Oh, he's yeah. not what his dad said he was. Right. He is not the greatest of all time. No, no, no. He is going to be a solid NBA point guard, shooting mm-hmm. guard. Yeah. For a long, he'll have a long career. Oh yeah, yeah. He's not gonna be. Better than Magic, Mm-mm. he's yeah. not Jason he's, Kidd. Yeah, I mean he's 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 a good ball player. His oh, yeah. dad just kind of over over talked. Mm-hmm. Is that the word? He, overhyped. Yeah, well, better? I like that. One. Yeah, better. Let's now. Go he with that. overhyped him yes. to the point of where he couldn't 
ever live up to those expectations. No, no. There's no way. I mean, his dad made him, you know, the second coming of Jesus before he took, <laughs> took one game in, the, in a preseason game. Yeah. It's just not him. He doesn't have that superstar attitude. He doesn't have mm-hmm. that. I mean, he's a good ball player. He's going to go out there, yeah. keep his mouth shut, and he's going to play. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's his numbers are comparable to a lot of, you know, players. Um you know, like I said, being a rookie, you know, it's decent. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But again, yeah, you're right. It, it's not to that um, to that tier that you know Lavar had preached, but I think he's going to be decent. Yeah, and then Leangelo making the stupid mistake over in China. Yeah, stealing some sunglasses that he could have afforded to bought a few pair of. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that to me is probably the most alarming of all four of them. Mm-hmm. All four balls. Mm. <laughs> Double pair of balls. Yeah, uh, because uh, they're so, all right. Their social skills are already non-existent. Mm. They're all waiting for their dad to speak for them, mm-hmm. and to make a, a mistake like that, causing you know the master plan to be changed. Now yeah. it may work out with them going to Lithuania, but that is just yeah. something that it, it kind of to me. I don't want to say it killed Leangelo's chances mm-hmm. because he's he's undersized. For the next level. I right. Mean, you look at him, he's not a forward, not really a guard. I mean, what is he? You know what I mean? He's got great moves in the post mm-hmm. and he can shoot lights out at times, but he's just not big enough yeah. for that position in the NBA. It's going to be, and I'll play devil's advocate just a, just a smidgen. Like that, smidgen. Hey, y'all. Might have to go without the hats for a minute. Need a uh, bigger room. Yeah. Knowledge. <laughs> but, hey. My, my my take on it, you know, like I said, I agree, you know, with you on a lot of those things. But I think if, per se, he can continue to, um, you know, develop his ball handling skills, I think he could. <laughs> ball that handling. comes with age. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a couple pills. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how old you are. Right. <laughs> you learn how to handle them after a while. Hey, guess, mm, somebody <laughs> handle them for you. Hey. Anyway, getting a little off topic, y'all, but yes, his dribbling skills uh, could help him develop into a a two, I think, on the next level because he can. He can shoot lights out. Um, And just just to say, if he lands on the Lakers, uh, he won't need to do much. I mean, you you got the other two balls (laughs) already there. Uh, LaMelo, is, and I'm going on record to say, uh, you know, it's everybody time stamp this, and I'm sure Jake probably agrees with this, but Melo to me is probably the better or will be the better out of all these brothers. He has the potential. Melo has the superstar attitude. Yes. That Lonzo doesn't. Right. LaMelo just needs to mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that'll just yeah. come. I mean, he's 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Man. a lot of times people forget it. I mean, just 16. What were you doing when you were 16? Comment mm-hmm. below. With what you were doing at 16, you weren't playing semi pro basketball. No, I wasn't true. playing semi pro basketball. Keep it G ready, y'all, because we don't want to get flagged. Yeah, I don't. We don't want to get flagged. Right, but, you so. know, we got to put some, you know, stars or something in there to say some whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But but being 16 years old, mm. playing overseas, and he looks better than he did in high school, mm-hmm. and it's only going to get better over the years. Mm-hmm. He could develop in to the bigger of the three balls. And what is he? <laughs> How how tall is he? He's like what he's, six. He's like almost six four now. I think six four or sixteen. So if he has a spurt, man, if he just, can get to six six, mm, like his brother, right, uh, and, and mature, and he's gonna have to beef up a little bit, put on about fifteen yes. pounds. But his ball handling skills, mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody, and I'm gonna get criticized below. Go ahead. <laughs> There's very few people that I've seen, even in the NBA, move as quick with the ball as he does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. His, I mean, he gets up and down the court, you know, with the ball in his hand, just quick. Mm-hmm. I mean, more like a, I know Goran Dragic of the yeah. Miami Heat. He's quick. Leandro Barbosa was fast. Mm-hmm. You know, these guys he just fly down the court, and he's one of them. And if he yeah. can control it and get to the point to where he turns into a true point guard mm-hmm. with the range that he has as his his shot. Yeah. He, game he over. Could. And the thing I, I like, which a lot of people don't expound on, man, is all the ball brothers, man, they, they love to pass the ball. Just, just call them the balls. The balls. <laughs> all the balls, y'all. <laughs> all the balls like to pass the ball. All the balls. 
This is the greatest idea for a show ever. Because, I mean, this is hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I they, can't tell my kids about this show. No, no. They'll ask up too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, hey, yeah, they, they, they all love the past. You know, even though sometimes the stats don't dictate, um, you know, uh, as far as, you know, that scoring, you know, you look at, okay, Melo scores 40, uh, you know, Jello, you know, might have 29, whatever, but you look at the, the, the um, uh, the assist, they're always double digits, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So they like to get their teammates involved. So that's huge, man. Are, are they, could we call them selfishly unselfish? Yeah. I like that. I like that. Woo, see? I don't even have either. Hey, <laughs> y'all, wait till baseball come. Ooh, it's going to be on and popping. We're going to use all kinds of new verbiage. Yes. Yeah. All right. So so we're, I think we're kind of in agreement mm-hmm. that a few years down the road, yep. Mellow will be the best ball. I agree. Yep. Best ball, Mellow. Jello, I don't think, is going to make it unless he continues to grow. I just don't. Mm. He, I can see him maybe making it into the G League, but to me, I think he's kind of Euro for life. Possible, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he fits yeah. in over there to that style of ball more than he does in the NBA. He's—I don't think he's mm-hmm. athletic enough for the NBA right. right now. I mean, that could change, but as of mm-hmm. today, yeah. Lonzo gonna have a great career. Yeah, not gonna be a superstar though. I can't even see him as like a perennial All Star. I mean, he's just gonna mm-hmm. be a solid point guard for right. a long time. He's gonna take second fiddle to if LeBron comes. Mm-hmm. It's gonna hurt though. I mean, yeah, he'll get more assists, mm-hmm. but. You know, everybody coming out expecting 30, 10, and 10, averaging a triple double. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's in the cards. It's, it's going to be interesting. I mean, me personally, I, I think he, you know, he, he'll he be a all star eventually, but I think the pieces are going to come into play to, to help ex, uh, assist that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and again, like I said, if, if, you know, the Lakers end up getting someone like a LeBron, maybe, you know, uh, Paul George or something like that to add along with the young pieces they already have, um, that's more targets for Zoe to, you know, mm-hmm. give assist to. So that will increase his numbers. So we'll see. Yep. Uh, and the last thing I want to mention too is something that it's kind of been hearsay. It's not official yet. I don't think, I think mm-hmm. he's trying, uh, big daddy ball. Trying to start up the JBL, the Junior Basketball League. Yeah. Give kids at a high school a place to go play for one year so they don't have to go to college if they don't want to. And mm-hmm. they can pay them ahead of time. If that happens. Man. If that becomes reality. <clears throat> mm-hmm. College basketball as we know it will be over. It will. It, it, it will. I don't um, care if it's Duke, North Carolina, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. I don't care what school it is. Mm-hmm. They will be hurt so badly that college basketball, March Madness, it's going to, I'm not going to say it's going to go away. Right. Because there's still going to be a lot of kids that want to go oh, play yeah. for more than one year, but all the one and dones that constantly go mm-hmm. to college that stay for one year and leave, mm-hmm. why would they not go to just the JBL and make some money for that one year? They don't care about the class. They know they're there for one year and they're out anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's. Go make, I mean, he's talking about making, you know, making 10 grand a month or something over there. And, these are all 17, 18 year old kids. Sign me up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not I, discouraging college. No. To kids out there. No. I mean, get your education. Absolutely. But if you're at that point and that level, yeah. We used to let guys go to the NBA right from high school anyway. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, <laughs> if it happens, that's going to be huge. I don't know if it's, it's going to be a, uh, like a publicly traded stock, but if it is, you better buy it. You better get in on it. Because <laughs> it's going to be huge yeah. if that happens. Yeah. The teams are going to be. Different every year because all they'll all be one and dones, but right. the amount of talent that's going to be played there, mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. All right. Well, uh, that was our ball conversation. Yeah. It's, hey, we we can cross that off our list now. That's... Have we ever had a conversation about balls together? Never. Now we have. <laughs> that's happened. It's probably the last one. It's probably the last one. It was a little <laughs> awkward, but it was fun. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right. Well, hey, why don't you guys comment below? Tell us what you think. Uh, mm-hmm. Which ball brother do you think will be the most successful? Is it going to be Zoe, Mello, or Jello? Yeah. And and, so. and do you think they ever make it to the Lakers together? I don't think so. But, hey, if you enjoyed the humor, if yeah. you enjoyed the, the ball talk mm-hmm. and the innuendos, right. make sure you hit that like button. We appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. I uh, got some funny ones coming up for you here. Oh, yeah. Got some serious ones, too. Yeah. Uh, but we got some stuff coming out here before baseball season hits just to a uh, – Keep keep us fresh in your mind. 
That's it. That's right. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Peace.